safely to your seats so that we may begin the ceremony at 2 p.m.
Friends, family, and graduates, please make your way safely to your seats so that we may begin promptly at 2 p.m.
seats so that we may commence the event. Graduates, please stand to welcome Dean Cornelli, along with members of the Kellogg School of Management, faculty and administration.
Please be seated. And now, please welcome Kellogg's Dean, Francesca Cornelli. Hello, everyone. Distinguished guests, family, friends, professors, and administrators, on behalf of the trustees of Northwestern University, President Michael Scheel, Provost Kathleen Haggerty, and the faculty staff of the Kellogg School of Management, it is my honor to welcome you to our June 2023 commencement exercise. And I also want to extend a warm welcome to our convocation speaker, Jim Reynolds, 1982 graduate of the Kellogg Evening and Weekend Program, husband of a Kellogg graduate and father of a graduate this year. Somewhere there, hi there. First, I want to ask you to take a moment to thank our faculty and staff who has brought us here today. Let's applaud them. Today, we recognize and honor 1,295 graduates from our 2Y, 1Y, Evening and Weekend, Triple M, MBAI, MSMS, JD MBA, MD MBA, and PhD programs. Lots of programs. <laughs> and I really want to start by asking you graduates to join me in a Kellogg tradition. Please stand up turn around and take a special moment to acknowledge the network that supported your journey, your partners, spouses, children, parents, friends, and mentors who have been your champions these last two years. They deserve an amazing applause. Stand up and thank them. Class of 23, today we celebrate your remarkable achievement. In case you haven't noticed, you're standing in a purple gown, you have made it. We are here to celebrate it. And I think it's no long ago, if you feel like me, that you just arrived at Kellogg and you wondered what was ahead of you. If you think back when you arrived, you probably will notice how much you changed how much of a transformation it was. But I want you to know we were transformed with you because you did your mark on uh, Kellogg. Really, that's what it means to be part of Kellogg. You're not just a number. You're not just a student passing through. You are really part of this community. You are making it better. You are moving it forward. And it's been great for me in this year to see, really see you being part of so many events. I can't believe it's just already my fourth year as a dean. And, uh, but this was really the first one in which I felt things were behaving uh, normally. And it was great for me to enter conferences, talks in events, and see the room packed and really see you participate with such enthusiasm and always taking ownership of your experience, welcoming prospective students, enjoying club activities, creating amazing conferences with amazing content. And it's been great, uh, you know, trying to crash in your parties all the time, trying to. Uh, and I also remember, you know, joining the students at the Kellogg table in downtown Chicago, joining different tables, and I really had a sense of, uh, you know, the warmth, the camaraderie, you know, the sense of creation of bonds and network, I could really see it. Or showing up at the TG Friday, every time was different. 
Once uh, there was a fabulous uh, sampling of food around the world testify how global we are. Another time I witnessed the most amazing dance face-off. I, I still remember it. I wish I had uh, taken a video. But the point is you never rest, you never are predictable. So I really hope you will recognize that the Kellogg journey has been the most significant experience, learning experience of your life, but not only in terms of business learning, but also in terms of self-knowledge and realization of the power of your creativity, spirit, and principle. You know these days, some people occasionally ask me, what's the value of business education? Is it really worth it? And I really always answer, I actually strongly believe that the, the value has never been as strong as these days. Never before we needed ca uh, catalog leaders like you, people like you with your uh, value and your leadership. We really, <laughs> yes. <laughs> We really live in an increasingly complex world in so many dimensions. And also, we've never been more connected and yet sometimes so distant in polarization. I feel, you know, business leaders today have really a, an obligation, an opportunity to improve lives and solve problems. I've been reading this recently, there's a lot of uh, surveys that come out and data really showing that we are in a low trust environment, but actually businesses are one of the most trusted institutions, more than governments, which is very interesting. But at the same time, that trust comes with high expectation. The other things you, you read everywhere, was even also in the Business Roundtable in 2019, is really today people expect business leaders to do more than maximize shareholder wealth. They expect them to act in the interest of all stakeholders. But when you move from shareholders to stakeholder interest, then the problems, which are already complex, become even more complex and multifaceted. You know, measurement becomes ambiguous, weights might vary, opinions diverge. There is no unique solution. By the way, as a finance professor, even when he was maximizing profits. I used to say there's no unique solution. But now it's really much more complex. It's not something that you learn on the job. And that's something that we try to teach you at Kellogg. You know, once you have a multifaceted problem, the first thing you need to start is how do you discern profits from the common good? Before you suggested the solution, how do you look at the different component in trying to make your decision? And also, as you try to balance multiple objectives, then the problem becomes inherently interdisciplinary because all these different aspects are measured and studied by different, by different disciplines. So it's very difficult to just learn on the job how to handle all of this. And that's why, actually, our incredibly eclectic faculty has really challenged to look at your problem from different angles. That's why I always love the fact that Kellogg Mantra is really to push students to experiment, to take courses or co-curricular experiences out of their comfort zone, also not only in the industry where they will work. I'm always amazed how the Kellogg learning experience designed so long ago is so modern right now. Because you really can't just know one thing in one industry. Because the problems are completely multi-dimensional. Multi the, the world are conflagrating. And if you cannot be versatile, you cannot handle that type of, convex, that type of complexity. How are you going to be up to the trust of being able to provide solution? Also, in this increasingly complex and rapidly changing world, it's also more difficult to navigate ethics and forecast consequences of actions. Every other day, actually every day, someone asks me about generative AI. 
But really, this is just one of the examples of the complexity we face going forward. While I was reading this, uh, while I was writing this, uh, this speech, I was reading a book, uh, Power and Progress, by Osama Moglu and Johnson. And they argue that, historically, technological progress, starting from the Industrial Revolution, always brought, at first, more inequality. It's only afterwards that the forces moved to adjust. But the technological progress, at first, was very disruptive and brought inequality and brought not only happiness, but unhappiness for others. And yet, what they point out is, these days when we think of progress, we are always very optimistic. We always think, of course it's good, of course it will benefit everyone. Now, in case before you panic, I am not suggesting that at Kellogg we are going to reject progress. Of course, progress, we want progress, we are not Luddites. But the point is, we should be thoughtful about how we embrace the pro progress. You should be thoughtful. How you embed the technological progress into your business will make a lot of difference. And that's what we are trying to create for you here at Kellogg. Because make no mistake, the temptation might be, you know, I'm not CEO yet, I'm not leading a business, I'll worry about these type of issues when I'll be a CEO, when I'll be at the head of my organization, when I have control on everything. But the truth is, these problems arise in every of your action. This happens now in your job, every action you take. Just taking action without thinking of the consequences, thinking it's just someone else's responsibility is the wrong thing to do and brings to bad consequences. So you, I want you to be aware and thinking and bring all the Kellogg values you did, all the things you did with you, all the difficult conversation, all the discussion, all the experiences, all the leadership experience where you thought you knew how to do it and you had all a lot of difficulties that you didn't anticipate at first. Take them with you and use them. Because going forward, that is the challenge also for a business school like Kellogg to prepare you. There are no instructions or set of rules to follow. Progress means some of the challenges have not come to life yet. So we need to prepare you for whatever will be in front of you in the future. And that's what we've been trying to do. And that's the Kellogg values. And that's all the discussion, all the experience, all the courses and spreading you around in so much. And the parties too, because let's admit, we need also to know how to behave in a party, so <laughs> it's useful. And remember, that's also what you heard me so many times, right? Say how Kellogg culture pushes you to look outside your own bubble, to look at your impact outside of the bubble, how other people outside are perceiving you. Well, this is, this is the same. This is why going forward is going to be more and more important. The challenge is great, but our purpose at Kellogg is to help you navigate this complex framework. Also, remember another thing. That's why sometimes we put you through all these difficult courses that you sometimes were trying to escape. Because really, good intentions are great, but they are not enough. The world is full of people with good intention that, however, don't know how to deliver the impact in the right way. And what we've tried to give you is analytical rigor and creativity to deliver the impact. Take your good intention, marrying it to the Kellogg experience, and you'll have an impact in the world. So my hope for you going forward is Never take an answer for given. Always use your logic, your skill to decompose a problem and its solution. Never let anybody tell you that something cannot be changed. And never forget that you will need to bring people with you. Go out and tell everyone that Kellogg alumni are not for marginal change. I am sure your dedication and enthusiasm will be contagious and people will want to know more about what you're so passionate about. Really think about what 1,295 Kellogg graduates collectively can go 
and do to shape the future. So my final wish for you is remember when you pass this stage, you're not anymore a student, but you're a Kellogg alum. So continue to nurture your ties to the school and to each other. And remember you represent Kellogg and our values. You are Kellogg, you'll always be Kellogg. We trust you to make us proud. So class of 23, you are ready, go out in the world, I salute you. Thank you. <laughs> Me again, actually. It is now my great pleasure to introduce our convocation speaker, Jim Reynolds, class of 1982, for our evening and weekend program. Jim is a wonderful example of what it means to be a Kellogg leader, a trailblazer in business and society whose talented skills are widely recognized and admired, but at the same time is also someone who cares deeply and acts with great energy and integrity to improve the lives of those around him. He's charted an enormous success career, successful career in the financial service industry, founding and heading up Loop Capital here in Chicago, and transforming it from a municipal for bond firm to one of the largest privately held investment bank in the US. And also, he continues to find ways to give back to his hometown and strengthen our community. His record of philanthropic and civic leadership reflects a commitment to advancing racial equality and civil rights and removing barriers to success for African Americans. Most recently, Jim was named the recipient of the annual Lincoln Leadership. The prestigious award recognizes individuals of great strength of character and who serve in the tradition of President Lincoln and exhibit an unwavering commitment to the defining principle of democracy. And finally, I have to say, I have known Jim for four years. He's been a wonderful partner and advocate for Kellogg. And let me tell you what I remember most in four years with Jim. First, whenever I talked to him about any project at Kellogg, I had this undivided attention, total focus, no condescency, no generic welcome, and really focused with original ideas. It's been such a pleasure. Second, whenever I met Gene somewhere in Chicago, he knows everyone. I mean, everyone. People kept giving me cards because I was with Jim. I must be somebody. It was <laughs> really important. And finally, I have seen him being completely cool and calm and effective in the faces of probably what was the biggest challenge of his professional life, teaching me football rules. <laughs> and it succeeded. So if in the future you see me stepping down as a Kellogg need, Dean to become a coach at some football team, it's all his fault, I want you to know. Thank you, Jim, for coming. You guys are pretty lucky to have such an amazing dean. Um, first of all, my son has been late for everything all his life. He's supposed to be out there. If you're out there, raise your hand, Jim. <laughs> all right, he's out here. Uh, it, it would not have surprised me if he had missed this graduation, I would tell you. I wish to express my sincere thank you to my fellow Kellogg board members, faculty and staff, families and friends. It's an honor and privilege, as well as just a delight to address you today at this illustrious convocation ceremony. This is a very special day, the day that you put the classes behind you and you start, or in many of your cases, restart your professional journeys. And for almost all of you, you stopped those elaborate quote unquote trips, vacations, whatever they were that you were going on. Um, 
1982 is the year I graduated from Kellogg, when I was sort of in your place. So by a show of hands, not anybody in the audience, but of the graduates, who was born in 1982? Bot sent. Really? Okay, good. There's a couple of us. All right. It, was, it felt like yesterday in 1982 that I was cheering for the Lakers in NBA Finals against Philadelphia and watching my now business partner, Magic Johnson, just control the floor. I did finally meet Magic, or Irvin, as he is called by his friends, and we've in fact gone into business together. I'm proud to say that we've built one of the most successful U.S.-based infrastructure funds focused on public-private partnerships, uh, raised about $2 billion. Our first project you may be familiar with, the LaGuardia Airport Terminal, the new LaGuardia Airport Terminal. I guess, I guess people who don't know me, but when they find out I did that project, they're like, thank God. They, you know. We've just got a new one on a project that's almost as bad, the LaGuardia uh, JFK uh, International Terminal, that's 10 billion, and we've just won a $2 billion project for LAX. In all of our projects, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, in all of our projects, we really emphasize something that's a little bit different. Uh, we do try, in all of the things that we do, to change the lives of black, brown, women, entrepreneurs, and professionals. I'm privileged. <laughs> I'm privileged to have worked with some really great teams. And you'll hear that in the texture of all my comments. Loop Capital Markets, some of you may know, some of you may not, is a company that I started um, in 1997 with six people after 15 years on Wall Street. Uh, and we've grown it into, one, into the largest diverse-owned investment banking firm in the U.S., focusing in corporate finance, public finance, M&A, global equity, global fixed income, futures repo, and all of that stuff. The opportunity to do that business has given me the opportunity to grow other businesses. Another that I funded with one of your Hall of Fame alumni here, Michael Wilbon. Uh, in addition to that team, we have our local hero, Derek Rose, Charles Barkley, um, Devin Booker, D'Angelo Russell, and the Mars Brothers, Marcus and Markeith. We founded another coconut water company called Coco Five. So we've got a really good starting five and a couple of really good guys coming off the bench. <laughs> We've also built a really good real estate program uh, in addition to what we've done in those spaces. We're developing 48 acres on the lakefront, Chicago's lakefront. We're building 20 sound stages on the south side of Chicago. We have real estate projects going from Oakland, California, to Richmond, Virginia, to Inglewood, California, and the like. And in my spare time, we've acquired two asset management firms totaling about $10 billion. What I have come to understand is the root, the core of all of these things are the teams that have been built around these businesses. The most important team of all, the one team that started it all, was right here at Kellogg. I listed a few of my successes not to trumpet my horn or give myself credit but to give credit to Kellogg. The amazing education that I received here, the education that you are now taking away with you into the world. In my quest to become a leader, I studied decisions that leaders have made, both good and bad, that, trans that transforms their organizations for better or worse. In some cases, decisions that directed their organizations into extinction. Let's talk about a few not so good decisions. And many of these companies you may know about. Certainly your parents do. Um, 
1998, Nokia was the largest cell phone operator uh, in the U.S., probably the world, overtaking Motorola, which also made some bad business decisions. But Nokia's inability to evolve, innovate, market, and seize opportunities allowed, you guessed it, Apple to take over. Apple now has a market cap of almost $3 trillion. Remember Kodak? You probably don't. <laughs> but for the folks out there, Kodak used to be the camera company. It was the only camera company that everybody used. They were the dominant player in photography. Few corporate blunders are as large as this one. I took note of the lack of vision, customer awareness, flat out cockiness, their ability to adopt the technology that they in fact pioneered, digital photography, sealed their fate and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. And finally, to one that's very personal to me, Blockbuster in the 1980s. That one's personal because I had won with some buddies the Blockbuster franchise to develop the south side of Chicago. Fortunately, we couldn't put our money together. And uh, <laughs> Blockbuster failed to see the benefits of the home rental demand market, watching your movies at home. In a knockout blow, Netflix overtook Blockbuster and eventually drove them to extension. They actually could have bought Netflix for $50 million in 2000. Netflix has a market cap now of $187 billion. Leadership. What I found of the companies that have extraordinary success, stories are the great, are the great decisions made by business leaders. It is from this list that I began electing my own personal hall of fame of candidates and the transformative visions of the companies that they led. Apple, founded in 1976 by two college dropouts, the company had the vision to see and think about the fact that you might want to use a computer that was smaller, from home, easier to operate, and they built an amazing business. Amazon. I was there when the, when the company first started selling books on the internet. And it looked like that was a pretty slow, dry business, except that leader had the vision to know that that was a start and that everything would be sold on the internet. And my favorite leader of all time, Jamie Dimon. I happened to live through the financial crisis in 07 and 08, and my own firm, Merrill Lynch, went out of business or was acquired. I saw Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns fail. And I saw Jamie Dimon, with deft leadership, lead JP Morgan to be the strongest financial institution in the US. I've recognized and repeatedly reconfirmed that the skills to be a great leader are learned. Great leaders are made, not born. What are some of the leadership skills that can be absolute game changers for you today? One, and these are my favorites. People have to be drawn to you. They have to respect you and want to be part of your team, of your company, and ultimately part of your vision. My company started with just a few goals. I had a business plan, but the added value has come from the teams that I've built. Everyone is not a keeper, but when you're in business for 25 years and many of your senior executives have been with you for 20 of them, you acknowledge that that team you have is driving a lot of your success and growth. A great leader has to check their ego at the door. The accolade that comes from seeing your successful team, not you personally, is the benefit. If you can build up those around you and spread the credit, you can maximize 
the creativity, innovation, strategy, execution, and impact. End results come from one powerful source, the team. The individuals who function as a team will always perform at a higher level than those that don't. The buck stops with the leader. When there is bad news, and trust me, there will be bad news. The leader takes accountability because it was under their watch. When there is good news, the leader spreads that good feeling around to the other parts of the team. The leader makes the individuals on the team produce at a higher level than they can produce on their own. The magic comes from unlocking potential, making the team believe that they can achieve things that they didn't know they could. I have personally experienced that folks that work with me produce at a higher level than they ever have prior to joining our company. That is when and only when I take comfort that my leadership is effective. Finally, a great leader sets the tone, establishes the culture. A leader is supportive, collaborative, focused, a visionary, a cheerleader, a shoulder when needed, and a motivator. I interview a lot of bright, enterprising young people like yourselves. And when folks are sitting across the table from me, I'm looking at the tenets I just outlined. If I put them in charge of a team, are they the caliber of human being who will assume responsibility if the team falls short? And will they share and spread the credit when the team succeeds, allowing the sun to shine on everyone? Do they have the shoulders broad enough to take the advers adversity upon themselves and the willingness to let the team members stand on those shoulders to stand higher? In addition, I ask, are they made of the sterner stuff, to quote Shakespeare? While they protect and elevate the team members who excel, can they remove those that don't belong? Because that is what you as a leader owe to the members of the team. Can you align people to a common goal, rally them to a shared purpose, respect is earned, as I said, leaders are made, not born. It takes a long time to build your credibility as a leader, and it can vanish in an instant. Finally, I ask myself, is this the person who can summon the best out of their people? This is critical, because class of 2023, another industrial revolution is coming, and it's coming in the form of AI. As Bill Clinton once said, don't pay attention to the headlines, pay attention to the trend lines. A lot of traditional jobs will be performed by automation, even in the white collar business world. None of us can fully predict how this would shake out, but I can tell you that I, along with my peers in the business world, many of whom you'll be working with sometime soon, we're already planning for the future. We're optimistic, though, that tightly knit, agile, performance-driven, self-directed teams will prosper. Individuals who can work within, contribute to, and excel in these types of independent, flexible, creative teams will be, will be the star players. Class of 23, these are precisely the qualities that Kellogg has developed in each of you. To be a leader, and make those around you better. These are the qualities of your great dean, Francesca Cornelli, has worked so hard to code into the DNA of the new emerging Kellogg. The hallmarks of the education are the trademarks of the 21st century outstanding professional. Kellogg has charted the right direction for developing effective business leaders. And our country, our city, our economy will be the better for it when each of you assume these leadership positions. Class of 2023, I'm excited for what you will do 
proud of what you have done, and thrilled to share this day with you and your families. My deepest congratulations and welcome to the Northwestern University alumni family. Now, please welcome Gina Fong, who was selected by the graduating class to be the 2023 Laven Good Professor of the Year. Recently, on a rideshare to work, a complete stranger gave me a gift. However, it was not a gift I could touch or see. Three Fridays ago, I was traveling to an unfamiliar neighborhood in the early morning for a special work project. Sometimes my rideshare drivers are chatty. Sometimes we barely exchange a word. That morning, I was greeted by a driver with a mile-wide smile who practically sang my name as I climbed into the back seat of her car. Little did I know that that complete stranger would give me a gift that morning. My students know I am obsessed with the art of gift giving. As a consumer anthropologist, I pay attention to what people need and want to help companies make better products and services. It's a practice that I believe parallels that of gift giving. Understanding another person so deeply at their core that you can surprise and delight them. And while an insightful gift can be a physical item you love, it can be a product feature that makes your life easier. It can be a gesture, a note, or something that someone says at just the right moment. I believe giving someone an insightful gift is one of the most human-centric acts we can do. A meaningful gift can build connection and emotional closeness. On the flip side, a less than thoughtful gift can leave one feeling misunderstood. So Kellogg graduates, I want to remind you of the transition that will take place once you leave this university, you will transition from a place of knowledge to a place where you must understand others in order to be successful. And understanding others is an emotional art. So how does one master an emotional art? Practice these three things. Number one, boundless curiosity. Enter someone else's world and wonder without judgment. Don't get mad at people, get curious. People may not make sense to you, but they always make sense to themselves. <laughs> Number two, eager listening. Don't argue, don't teach, don't sell. Listen to understand, not to reply, defend, or correct. Number three, profound empathy. Find a personal connection that allows you to see the world from someone else's point of view. Advocate for them in a way you would want for yourself. As for my ride that morning, my driver noticed my hesitation when we arrived in an unfamiliar neighborhood, not a soul in sight in the early morning. And she said to me, I will wait here for you until you are safely in the building. This was a gift I could not see or touch, but it was a gift that I could feel deeply. This was a gift of understanding. But that wasn't all. Because we entered each other's worlds for that 30-minute ride, we realized that we had more in common than just two people working early that morning. When she discovered I was a teacher, 
she happily announced that her son was graduating in a few weeks. When I asked from which school, she proudly replied, Kellogg. I teach there, I exclaimed. She asked, will I see you at graduation? And I chuckled, you probably will. So you, Barry, I know you're out there today, and I want to thank you. I want to thank you for giving me the gift of understanding. I want to thank you for leading with boundless curiosity, eager listening, and profound empathy. And to these Kellogg graduates, I hope you will remember to enter other people's worlds and understand them. Your loved ones, your customers, even complete strangers. Remember to give the gift of understanding when you can, as often as you can. This is what makes us human. Thank you. We now welcome Margot Beam, President of the Evening and Weekend Student Association. I would like to lead today's remarks with gratitude to the families, partners, spouses, children, professors, administrators, and coaches who are here with us or in our hearts. Thank you. You are the ever-present support that drives the hope and belief that the challenges a Kellogg leader faces will improve our future and lead us to achieving our goals. We are honored to celebrate our MBA achievement with you. Thank you for believing in us. <clears throat> to the Kellogg School of Management Class of 2023, congratulations. Achieving this moment required a combination of passion, perseverance, and hope. And as we reflect during this celebration, I ask you to uphold these traits for the remainder of your life and to seek opportunities to share them with others. In short, I ask you to continue to hone and share your grit. According to a research study by Angela Duckworth, grit is the combination of passion and perseverance put forth when achieving one's long-term goals. However, grit is not a trait you are born with. Rather, it is developed through support and expectations set by others and then practiced and honed by the individual. I was introduced to the idea of grit by a colleague through an observation. Margot, I think you're very gritty, she said. Searching for meaning in this observation, I learned to practice grit and to realize the power of my personal commitment and effort over an innate talent when reaching a desired outcome. When reflecting on our Kellogg journey and our shared experience of personal growth, I can confidently say each of you are very gritty and Kellogg was our training ground for grit. We discovered our interests through new subjects and ideas while learning which topics inspired our greatest work. We committed to the hours of practice necessary for success, thoughtfully thinking through our results and reflecting on feedback to define our next steps forward. Most importantly, we developed our sense of purpose by collaborating with others, exposing our strengths and vulnerabilities while developing empathy for those around us. While today is a celebration of personal growth and proof of our grit, tomorrow, we are called upon to reach further as Kellogg leaders, tasked with sharing our hope, passion, and perseverance with the new communities we will join. As we turn this page, I challenge you not only to share your grit, but to inspire others by creating a culture of grit. As a leader, I encourage you to offer a firm training ground to build passion and perseverance in yourself and others. In this arena, discovery is encouraged while failure is celebrated and learned from. Remember to project your ability to be trusted by showing up and following through. Even when times are tough, prioritize giving your empathy and support to others. And finally, 
nurture an environment where all voices, ideas, and intuitions are heard. We, the class of 2023, are the high impact, low ego leaders the world is calling for. Answer the call with the hope that your actions will make tomorrow better than today. Congratulations, and I look forward to celebrating all that we accomplish. Please welcome Yasudo Shaw, President of the Full-Time Student Association. Friends, I imagine that there are very few of you who are eager to hear from a fifth speaker, so I promise to keep this short and sweet. As we prepare to take the knowledge we've gained from Kellogg out into the world, I want to reflect on what makes this institution so special. And I believe that the unique value of Kellogg lies in how strongly we recognize and celebrate the power of community, and in how we recognize the importance of diversity within a community. This focus is evident even in the way our classes are structured. As most of us know, Kellogg places a greater emphasis on teamwork than any other top business school. Rather than working on essays and projects on one's own, virtually every class at Kellogg contains a team component. When I was considering whether Kellogg was the right fit for me, I had a conversation with Dean Bernie Banks, and he emphasized the significance of fully embracing the team experience. He jokingly said that the only time we wouldn't be working in a team is when we're using the bathroom. <laughs> Although the lines for the bathrooms right after every class made it feel like we went through that as a team as well. <laughs> now, undoubtedly, working in teams can be challenging. We have to rely on individuals with different motivations and perspectives. We may shoulder uneven workloads or even compromise for the majority's preferences. However, this emphasis on teamwork reflects Kellogg's philosophy on business and life. Few achievements can be accomplished alone. In our professional pursuits, we will always be part of teams, collaborating to make a collective impact. And within these teams, we have learned at Kellogg that diversity is not a weakness, it is a strength. During my time as student body president for the full-time program, I learned to value the diversity of my teammates far more than I had imagined. While I came in thinking that the skills I brought to the table would be useful in driving the team's progress, I truly believe that I ended up learning more from the team than they learned from me. I set out to accomplish two, pro two broad goals at Kellogg. To ensure that students felt supported in exploring diverse career paths, and to create an inclusive environment where all students felt welcomed. While I had some ideas on how to achieve these goals, it was the diverse perspectives of my team members that truly made a difference. To promote career exploration, I needed to hear from people who are pursuing non-mainstream careers like media and entertainment or venture capital investing. I had to empower them with the necessary resources to bridge any support gaps that they faced at Kellogg. And I couldn't accomplish this if I surrounded myself solely with individuals pursuing the same career path as me. I needed to surround myself with diversity. Similarly, in fostering inclusivity at Kellogg, my personal experiences as a black man could only take me so far. To truly make sure that everyone could feel included, I had to surround myself with individuals who had different experiences within the community, such as those who experienced being an, an immigrant woman or being part of the LGBTQ community at Kellogg. I undeniably needed to surround myself with diversity to achieve these goals. But what I want to leave you with today is the idea that surrounding yourself with diversity isn't just helpful in building community in a school environment, it also leads to better business outcomes. Studies by McKinsey and other well-regarded institutions have unequivocally found that teams with greater diversity achieve higher profit outcomes. And this is because diverse perspectives bring innovative ideas and fresh insights across the board. Whether that be learning how to help your product appeal to people in different regions of the country or of the world. Or whether that simply involve approaching problems in a different way because members of your team have learned different lessons through their unique life experiences. And so as I conclude, I urge you to continue embracing diversity in the Kellogg way by surrounding yourself with diversity in your future teams. As we step into leadership roles in this next chapter of our lives, 
Let us foster inclusive environments where everyone feels genuinely valued as true members of the community. And above all, let empathy infuse our every interaction such that we truly understand the lived experiences of others and may leave an undeniably positive impact on all those who cross our paths. Thank you and congratulations. Please welcome again, Dean Cornelli, who will present the degrees to the Kellogg School Class of 2023. First, we present the Kellogg School PhD Class of 2023. Falcon Seaton. Jing Xiong Hu. Dawei Wang. Hao Chi Zhong. Ying Kong Xia. Next, we welcome the Master of Science in Management Studies graduates. Gary Tsai. Charlie Mangieri. Charles Schmidt. Jimmy Zhang. Chung Kang Chen. Min Quan Chang. Wan Yi Zhou. Tatiana Hardwick. Ethan Rosen. Isabel Kennedy. Lucas Davidson, Andrew Davidson, Zoe Sarazin, Alejandro Graber, Xiang Liang, Jennifer Lowe. Elsie Wei. <laughs> Luen Wu. <laughs> Hannah Takamoto. <laughs> Manchu Wang. <laughs> Xinyang Zhang. Chandrashri Karnani. <laughs> Yunyi Zhu. <laughs> Zhengqin Yuan. <laughs> Yifei Shao. <laughs> Connor Mason Hooley. <laughs> Hannah Hall. Jingwen Lu. <laughs> Thomas Delise. <laughs> Finian Murphy. <laughs> Connor McKay. <laughs> Alex Jacobs. <laughs> Simon Sundi Bracom. Shannon Daly, <laughs> Emma Jakes, <laughs> I now present the Kellogg School MBA Class of 2023. Bending, Paresh Agarwal.
Bravo. Amir Amili. And Johnny Agraval. Peol Agraval. Jitesh Agarwal, <laughs> Hana Ocharia, Manish Agarwal, <laughs> go on ahead, Shubham Agarwal, <laughs> Ankit Agarwal, <laughs> Emmanuel Adedinaran. Aquan Matthew Aaron Emily Colette Raj Jeriel Acosta Elvin Ameti Emmanuel Adudako. <laughs> Kenneth Allen. <laughs> Frederick Toloipi Adenuga. <laughs> Courtney Anderson. <laughs> Aku Akwe. <laughs> Rick. Ashworth, Stephen On, Adrija Agarwal, Sandeep Arun, Varun Anand, Sam Appling. Hiroya Sato, <laughs> Natalie Asher, Puneet Arora, Saranya Arora, Arti Asrani, Sarah Alieva. Felipe Andrade, <laughs> Caleb Anderson, <laughs> Afam Adenobi, <laughs> Michael Almeida, <laughs> Nahir Amir, <laughs> Anand Ankala. Austell, Michael Allen, Arthur Aruda Spindola, Andres Francisco Vendando Pinto, Doyen Awafudo. Monsi Aurora, Rachel Abel, Ashlyn Edelman, Laura Alonji, Camille Ahmed, Bennett Amon. Agarwal, Skyler Almquist, Evan Appel, Sam Akers, Jennifer Augustine, Sharif Badawi. Sarah 
Bradman. Victor Balakazar Soria. Alberto Berroman. Ashna Vijay Bhatia. Mohit Bhatia. Niraj Bambani. Ninad Balachandran. Tara Varesh. Jonah Berg. Megan Bronstein. Anoshika Basradaj. Ashwin Bhaskar. Aditi Beeson. Aman Bansal. Amanda Brazil. Ramadityanand Bogari. Tina Brown. Robert Browning. Jacob Brodner. Courtney Burke. Ryan Bear. Spencer Bush. Abril Brugo. Spencer Blair. <coughs> Connor Bellows. Zainab Mutaz Malik Bellows. Sonia Bond. Yasamin Benker. Alexandra Beck. Kevin Britt. Oscar Bogarts. Tim Benoit. Shabik Badhan. Valiska Baberoli. Babrilochi. Grant Becker. Emily Bauman. Michaela Baker. Aubrey Burns. Jay Bay. Dustin Benedretti. Josh Bradley, Matt Baldwin, Brandon Boswell, Victor Battaglia, Mohammed Basatia, Holly Branchaft White. Sean Ryer, Jessica Bond, Wade Boich, Bart Buczynski, Stephanie Balin, Igor Bolchikov. Eden Burroughs, <laughs> Sophia Fetch, Adamir Balena, Alejandro Balderas, Colin Brown. 
Mihir Bala. Lauren Beagler. Frank Boudon. Steffi Bilka. George Bumichi. Greg Booth. Frank Berganzi. Kevin Blue. Margarita Isabel Binamira. Maria Alexandra Garcia Buccilli. George Bailey. Biruk Bikele. Bosin, Ethan Bloomer, Emily Barretta, Alisa Bernstein, Neil Butterway, Neil Bott. Sivanach Boon Sambats. Christine Bacon. Jacob Buley. Matthew Byer. Andrew Chorney. Kevin Chawaniak. Dominic Canella, Emma Castro, Ainsley Campbell, Alyssa Cohn, Joseph Costignetti, Juan Castillo. Concha, Jeffrey Quartero, Christine Cornelia, Hannah Cosgrove, Colton Connor, Chital Chandra Shirar. Matthew Clough, Michael Cunningham, William Charvat, Miguel Caruncho, Sugjin Chung, Jeffrey Chike Cole. Jenna Chodos, Christina Cortez, Forrest Christensen, Philip Conklin, Arpita Chatterjee, Dante Capiccioni. Ross Campbell, Christine Kasman, John Kroll, Jun Yun Sho, Patricio Castro, Avery Coffey. Shane Cranmore, Pauline 
Chang. Charlotte Chen. Gurbani Chavla. Vincent Chung. Gabriela Castellanos. Katie Clayson. Courtney Culpepper. Benjamin Castaneda. Julia Castro Morgan. Isabella Cortez Montero. Camilla Cartafina. Natasha Catrakilis. Adam Karn Safferstein. William Cleverence. Stephanie Chang. Beth Chung. Margaret Connolly. Veronica Cano Alvarez. Aaron Chun. Lauren Schiesla. Lindsay Cozen. Debashri Chakraborty. Haley Stutz Carney. John Carney. Charlie Coglin. Zachary Cobb. Aiden Chalebi. Danny Cotero Latayev. <laughs> Luis Cerro Chiang. <laughs> Jocelyn Cheng. <laughs> Dario Cruz. <laughs> Mario Cox. <laughs> Jessica Shubitz. Alden Co-op. <laughs> McLean Callahan. <laughs> Janice Chen. <laughs> Alice Chen. <laughs> Julie Chen. <laughs> Catherine Chu. Crane. Deborah Sionic Simois. Alston Cobb. Rice Wool Chowdhury. Fablia Chowdhury. Young Suk Choi Sahil Desai Kristen Dealey Abigyan Dubey Gina Doyle Clements Doblin Peter Carbone. Grant Delgado. Bjorn De Groot. Lauren Davis. Shumin Dai. Ilya Durov. Alyssa. De Korea, Alan Davis, 
Mahir Data. Ifetayo Dosunmu. Carmen Del Valle. Param Desai. Ishita Deshmuk. Parikshit Day. Agnes Nato Data. Sarah Duffy. Caitlin Desmond. Josh Delmar. Corinne Chantrell Damian. Alex Danes. Leisha Daniel. Sarah Day. Emily Donald. Kimberly Daniels. Zorica Jocic. Lauren Dwyer. Christian Peter Dayal. Andrew Chengu, Chika Dunga, Alan Ducor, Ellie Davidson, Sean DeFratis, Palak Daria. Soham Dalal, Eliza Duffy, Jimena Del Valle, David De Lucas Gomez, Henry Davis, Chelsea Dawkins. Neil Dudani. Felipe Espicia. David Elmitz. Omasan Fenamigo. Sheon Enelorunda. Greg. Egan, Carolyn, Estelle, Will Eisenberg, Paulina Enriquez Dominguez, Zachary Edwards, Soledad Erazuriz. Jorge Elizagaray, <laughs> Alakbar Ivasli, Brady Ellis, Ime Econom, Jake Erickson. Jane Cos Espinoza, Daniel Espinel, Martin Fuenzalida, Juan Funes, JC Del Pino. Janelle Fennessy, Alexis Freda, Phil Fairley, 
Ross Ryan Franks. Caroline Flood. Ryota Fua. James Fun. Shit. Cher Bang. Regan Fiasconi. Hirotu Fukua. Brett Friedberg. Kevin Fritz. Emily Friedman. Caitlin Finn. Coleman Force. Adam Fitzgerald. Carlo Fava Jr. Carlos Feynman. Tina Frucas. Perry Fitz. Faruzan Farazi. Abby Fagan. Mark Gannon. Braylon Gurnail. Katie Graham. Anupriti Gupta. Mononganya Dipti Gorti. Lu Han Yi Ying Wen Guan Adam Gary Felipe Antonio Gonzalez Valdez Alfonso Garza de la Puenta Tanya Gil Garibay. <laughs> Sawmill Galase. <laughs> Stephanie Goldberg. Jose Ricardo Garcia Gonzalez. Maximiliano Garcia Uribe. Alex Glover. Cindy Gao. Joy D. Ganguly. J.C. Gamble. Evan Giganov. Tommy Gijic. Sam Gray. Alexandra Gadotu. Nahal Garg. Andrew Galpin. Chesta Gupta. Ruchita Gupta. Adam Gajewski. Trevor Gift. Jonathan Gavron. Tanya Gore. Matthew Goldschmidt. 
Rebecca Grosser. Tori Goodell. Amelia Knight Gordy. Maria Gargonel. Michael Grifford. Tom Gazard. Benjamin Greenberg. Jonathan George. Alex Giorgi. Hande Gulchin Kamakjan. Pukit Rakesh Gupta. Miguel Gomez. Ariel Garson. Brandon Gustafson. Abraham Garcia. Neha Goyle. Andrea Georgiantis. Tyler Grinstead. Mitchell Grant. Terrence Gogun. Carolina Galdiz. Simsi Gupta. Siddharth Gupta. Ryan Goss. Eliana Landau Greenberg. Daniel Garcia. Joseph Gasenica. Steve Grykosi. Berg Gore. Gregory Gurla. Gori Gopta. Mitchell Jones. Ben Hackner. Sunshita Harlaka. Jordan Hughes. Blake Harris. Sarah Howie. Jeffrey Holden. Lee Hillman. Kyra Hooks. Ray Hung. Stella He. Trevor Hypus. Lauren Hauji. Derek Shai. Annika Hansen. Amanda Horowitz. Michaela Hamill. <laughs> Lee Van Hansen. <laughs> Tyler Hall. John Hayes. <laughs> Alyssa Hopkus. <laughs> Theodore Huntington. Ruhi Hussein Himani. Elliot Hall.
Abigail Haran. Dada Wong. Ryan Holler. Austin Hong. Priscilla Hu. House and Celia Huang. Luke Yi Jo Ha. Alice Meng Yao Ha. Lin Yi Ha. Wei Ling Wang. Georgia Hoagland. <laughs> Megan Hogan. Jonathan Heckner. Whitney Hansen. Patrick Hebe. Hefner, Josh Rebar, Hannah Handler, Andrew Henry, Lloyd He. John Wen Wong, Xu Fei Han, Annie Hup, Catherine Herrera, Caroline Hoskinson. John Howell. Eric Henriksen. Noel Harrison. Gabrielle Hanlon. Julia Heyman. Kyle Holtzman. Tushar Jha. Gunjun Jain. Fahim Jabber. Zachary Jacobson. Prachi Juicy. Allison Jacobson. Atashe Jane. Kristen Jordan. Aaron Johnson. Rebecca Jasinski. Lai Jung, Noor Juhal, Aksha Charivala, Ishan Jane, Alexandra Johnson, Sam Jordan. Andrew Johnson, Nick Schwartz Jacobson, Caroline Joyce, Ryan Jacobs, Christopher Johnson, Pauline Kulka. Sam Carnan, C. 
Mab Hassan. Journey Kim. Sean of Cocker. Aditi Kanan. Gaurav Kumar. Tasha Kewal Ramani. Hope Cable. Paige Kimball. Nikolesh Krishna Kumar. Siddhant Kumar. Sung Min Kim. Manushi Kapoor. Daniel Kufer. Mariah Kennedy Cuomo. Sarah Kaufman. Theodore Kirkpatrick. To pay Cato. Shuntaro Kanai. My Kanai. Josh Korea. Cameron Korab. Leslie Camel. Megan Katz Nelson. Lindsay Kaffball. Michelle Cruz Kilgallen. Kelly Kosnick. Yi Yu Kwai. Asil Kim. Thomas Keating. Benjamin Kendrick. Santa Khalid. Melissa Kilborn. Colleen Kubek. John Crone. Mitchell Cantor. Brad Kazuda. Sayuri Kawale. Fumiya Kai. Peter Kim. Carolina Kim. Katarina Kobylinski. Jenny Krishnan. Elijah Kroloff. Jay Katari. Ali Karaj. Rachel Call. Alexandra Kral. Shilp Katari. Jake Klopfenstein. Zareen Khan. Varshini Kumar. Andrew Keane. Michael Klusny. 
Rachit Kansal. Prabalika Karavadi. Amitesh Sinch Kaura. Priyank Cutter. Ethan Leigner. Naomi Lopez. Kyla Montaning. Catherine Lawson. Kevin Lee. Ryan Lowry. Matthew Laterowitz. Miranda Huello. Yini Lee. Jialin Lee. Jili Yu. Ivy Munya Law. Xiao Han Liu. Dan Xing Delia Lin. Autumn Lin. Margaret Laska. Caitlin Loomis. Xiao Lang. John Luca. Allison Levine. Alexandra Lee. Parker Loving. Kara Lyons. Matthew Lynch. Timothy Lesowitz. Daniel Lyston. Kiara Locke. Anushka Lobo. Ian Lee. Jesse Lee. Harvey Jen Hoon Lee. Ella Lasich. Melly Landon. Ethan Lebowitz. Matthew Levy. Sarah Leonard. Wei Shi Lin. Hannah Lucas. Junsa Scott Lee. Bradley Levin. John Levi. Teddy Lusted. Margaret Ledgerton. Monica Lures. Dana Levin. Sophie Layton. Alyssa Leonard. Audrey Lynn. Dennis Tung Liu. 
will Wayne Ying Liao. Vanessa Liu. Peter Wei Hao Lin. Laurel Leiden. Greg LaBelle. Jeffrey Lee. Jay He Lee. Ignacio Lasso de la Vega. Bruce Liao. Ariel Lee. Kevin Lin. Camilla Luciano. Lahish Correa de Oliveira Morera Lima. Utkarsh Bakar. Maria Cecilia Martinez Martibid. Francisco Mariscal Bressler. Mindy McBee. Abby Morrison. Ravine Matthew. Eric Lee. Nick Marshall. Namit Law. Eduardo Montefusco. Mohammed. Oh, Mohammed. Jessica Mondis. Bridget Mametti. Sarah Manley. Rebecca Moshfeg. Contessa Mirozzi. Merritt Morrison. Mbere Monjak. Philip. McClymont, Clements Michelle Peng, Rachel McKay O'Connor, Catherine Miller, Joey McNulty, Asta Minocha. Julian Evan Musikant. Kashin Blackwell. Ines Solov. Stephanie Mickham. Mahesh Madhavandan. Arjun Mimira. Justin Molinaro, Brian Mortel, Peyton Mills, Matthew Monahan, Michael Monzano, Kira McLean. Anna Mehmood. Anam Mitani. Diana Mustafi. Jared McNair. Shelby Rose McGillray. 
Nuzhat Mahreen. Albert Moss. Michelle Bauman. Jonathan Monty. Trevor Madri. Mario Monty. Neela Mohan. Avery Marcus. Peter McEnany. Shosuke Mura. Niaz Mozunder. Peter Borman. Erika Matsushima. Monica Martins. Mallory Lynn. Jenny Mack. Jay Wu Mo. Gun Kyu Min. Ariella Masters. Tina Malik. John Marr. Nicholas Mahoney. Michael Maloney. Audrey Melville. Cameron Merton. Sarah McGann, Nick Molson, Paras Mira, Jackson Montalbano, Matthew Moschella, Liliana Myers. Rohan Reddy! Alexander Montero! Robert Mitchell! Benjamin Mitchell! Irma Mladenova! Kruti Rajin Malkan Tipperedi. Brandon McCrary. Ilamkir Matangulu. Aditya Mohajan. Krisen Mori. Sean. Sohum Mansukani, Alex Milovic, Mackenzie Miller, Elena Marovic, Andrew Niles, Christian Nicolopoulos. Rudan Narashiman Tian Nan Mia Nan Isabel Navarro Megan Nelson Sarah Nugent, 
Varsha Nagaraj. Thomas Newell. Sarah Nussly. Nick Meyer. Brooke Naples. August Niesel. Christina Niesel. Chloe Nagib. Oh. Allison Newell. Shelby Santofanti Nakare. Alexander Napoli. Joseph Ozuski. Janista JJ Neomrax. Jin No. Hassan Nasri. Eric Nelson. Haley Purcell. Alexander Wynn. Garrett Nasterin, <laughs> Stephanie Yefan Ng, <laughs> Gabrielle Philip Peñas Nadal, <laughs> John Ryun Nan, Rinrada Narakon. Pidgeets. John Sebastian Naboa. Brent O'Reilly. David Osborne. Chieke Ofurum. Matthew Ostrowski. Carolina Madrid Ostrowski. Eric Onsager. Christiana Ogawa. Carolina Olavaria. Kelsey O'Leary. Greg Ogard. Jake O'Malley and special guests. Lucas Orsato da Silva. Crystal Onyema. O'Brien, Misan Okpe, Kelsey O'Connor, Ashwin Prashant, Monica Pani, Edward Pereira. Jiwen Ella Ang. Jay Patel. Chandler Page Pearson. Juhi Parekh. Jose Angel Puran Mijares. 
Ignacio Perez. Guillermo Puga Garcia. Lucia Perez Hoyos. Gion Huck. Madeline Persigan. Mahek Parik. Catherine Page. Alison Perkins. Nicole Peng. Eric Piado. Mihir Parik. Pritti Palavarapu. <laughs> Stephanie Hegler. <laughs> Sebam Hart. <laughs> Rakesh Panala. <laughs> Rahul Paranmalka. <laughs> Maya Patel. Miriam Prosnitz. Paul Hart. Rajan Patel. Timothy Pusateri. Jesse Peretz. David Parker. Host yeah. Rohan Hall yeah. Jivan Ava yeah. Sergio Perez Baron yeah. Monica Patel Graydon Peterson Nick Peterson, Kevin Peterson, Joshua Paredes, Rob Pontrelli, Ian Peter Carlos Papas, Brendan Power. Liha Hezenje, <laughs> Matias Rabat, <laughs> Valdi Rahman, <laughs> Sarah Rogers, <laughs> Olifami Dansi Rosanwo. Alexander Kweiser, June Chen, Jeffrey Q, Katie Yui Su, John Q, Bonnie Yu He. Yiming Chen, Ava Whale, Jamie Quark, Owuli Way, Amon Ronka, Evan Rand. Jacob Roper, C. 
Sinon Scott. Benjamin Richards. Adib Rushdan. Brisa Ramirez. Timothy Resnick. Yutsi Rao. Zan Peng Troy Ruan. Trent Reddick. Malavika Raju. Sarah Romberg. Alexandra Rote. Andrew Rossett. Sundesh Raut. Peter Rantis. Farzane Rahman. Catherine Reese. Michelle Roche Fria. Julia Rahut. Jordan Reisner. And Ralph. Carolyn Rendos. Brendan Riley. John Riley. Tom Riley. J.R. Reynolds. I'm Rita Roy. Abhishek Ravagon. Horacio Rapachilio. Guillermo Ray. Jose Ravella. Kenneth Rays. Anita Rozick. Stephanie Molis Rivkin. Shruti Sitaram. Cameron Steiger. Dane Smith. Benjamin Sasenik. Samantha Ship. Danny Schwartz. Melissa Siskind. Adina Schmidt. Morgan Smith. Abby Sarmiento. Ayush Shah. Eduardo Enrique Saldivar. Ambika Swaroop. Prabhu Suresh. Aniket Seoji. Ellen Stuckey. Waylight Soon. Paul Showhart. Jay Sounders. Chloe Hatterley Saunders.
Prosh Subberwall. Joel Salgado. Casey Sands. Simi Streeter. Jonathan Sheff. Artie Shankar. Siraj Ubramanian. Justin Stacy, Joseph Schneider, Matthew Schmidt, Rajat Sharma, Nicola Segura Dobjanski, Jackson Shumway. Satchel Siegel. <laughs> Sam Solovey. <laughs> Skyler Samsey. <laughs> Luke Sims. <laughs> Gerardo Sandoval. Eduardo Sampaio Pena. <laughs> Dylan Smith. <laughs> Shreya Soundarajan. <laughs> Jonathan Schroeder. <laughs> Nicole Schreiber. Max Soloshansky. John Sulu. Jack Struthers. Alexander Stocksdale. Trey Slominski. Robert Schill. Sean Spatz. John Stone. Brett Storr. Rachel Shea. Sahar Shamsian. Allison Shrek. Batuhan Samasash. <laughs> Sung Hee Shin. Tag Deep Singh. <laughs> Haley Schulte. <laughs> Connor Steiner. Zachary Miles Stander. Alexis Smith. Camilla Sanchez. Nicole Sweet. Jordan Sale. John Strayer. Connor Smith. Gregory Schultz. Jane Shovers. Carlos Salazar. Troy Southwell. Mimi Shen. Henry Shepard. Mario Estefan Santana. Taylor Smith. Sydney Smith. 
Brett Slicester. Samir Siddiqui. Yash Shrimali. Nitin Singh. Alice Milansky. Jana V. Santi. Abigail Spellman. Catherine Sullivan. Bowie Sankfor. Lizzie Shofting. Matthew Sisko. Raphael Seltzer. Noah Shulkoff. Prithvi Raj Subnis. Samantha Stubitz. Megan Santoro. Pallavi Srivastava. Akshita Singh. Omer Sheldon. Brandon C. Pete Sinihansi. Akhil Shukla. Ibnab Sherma. Nick Strand. Paul Syriac. Tanya Sogani. Mayuk Sen. Apoorva Ranjan Shukla. Abbas Sharma. Michelle Chu. Takaya Sugino. Ipsita Say. Sid Savant. Gurima Singh. Daniel Solano Munoz. Michael Shapiro, Siddharth Ganesh Ramani, Colton Smith, Taylor Spellings, Lindsay Shapiro, Karina Sarda. L. Strikin. Kelsey Shea. Claire Sun. Maxwell Torbener. Alexandra Jean Tyrrell. Jasmine Trong. Devin Tyler. Randy Cho. Rebecca Teeper. Brian Tang. Jessica Tannenbaum. Tasmia Tabasum. 
Theodore Tsang. Heather Terrar. Ryan Taylor. Matthew Truth. Ellen Tippo. Eduardo Rene Torres. Joseph Taylor. Suzanne Singer. Tyler Semro. Joshua Sachs. Lauren Swanson. Maria Sapienza. Walker Tiller. Hiroto Takeuchi. Catherine Tice. Keith Taylor. Mani Tayebi. Katya Tamer. Alejandra Isabel Trevino. Josh Tomatsky. Jack Trump. Kyle Tamboli. Sasha Vancura. Johnny Vo. Richard Fargo. Juan Camilo Villegas. Maria Alejandra Villamila Risa. Carlos Finanueva. Santiago Andres Valdez Gonzalez. Victoria Valadez. Hura Vigadilla. Alex Villmetti. Leticia Vieira Salvador. Maggie Vondere. Steven Valencia. Adam Vishni. Ramit Venugopal. Ricky Villegas. Samia Venugopal. Sally Wong. Tina Murphy Watkins. Michelle Wong. Vicky Wei Chi Wong. Nicholas Shu. Daniel Vilches Hiraldo. Andrew Wald. Walker Weiss. Ethan Walls. Chloe Woodhouse. Julia Witten. Lincoln Wilcox. Anai Went. Jacob Whitaker. Taylor Woodward. Jonathan Worthy. Sean Whitney. Justina Wotu. 
Michael Welton. Brett Wallace. Kelly Williams. Dandy Wong. Tobias Weiler. Chandler Wegon. Joshua Wasserman. Adrian Wyland. Emily Williams. Aditya Yadov. Jason Yang. Wayne Wei Yi Wu. Chen Yun Wu. Eva Wang. Phoebe Yo. Aiden Walsh. Jenny Westland. Megan Williams. Daniel Vutulovich. Christopher Wozniak. Anthony Wonder. Kevin Wedge. Monica Worsley. Jason Wright. Kayla Williams. Jerry Chukting Yaw. Claire Yao. Hey Sun Yang. Zoe Yaros. Jun Yu Yu. Sun Yun. Forrest Yakely. Elise Yancey. Daniel Yakulovich. Sam Yarnes. Yolanda Yin. Jill Yu. Chen Yu, Eden Shu, Cindy Shu, Young Yu, Benjamin Yoder, Vera Zhang and Guess. Richard Zarnock. Derek Rohau Jang. Susan Zhang. Sherry Zong. Mark Yingling. Kathleen Kennedy Zeller. Jesse Zhang. Sherry Chen Duong. Youngjia Zhang. Juno Joe. 
J. Lu Jo. Ellen Strakovich. Frank Zimmerman. Harry Zhao. Alfredo Zanotti. Anna Jane. Mario Zarin. Arif Zaman, <laughs> Margaret Zero, <laughs> Yan Nang Leslie Zang, <laughs> Rina Zan, <laughs> Ava Kiang Jo, <laughs> Billy Zuba. Zoe Zeiss. <laughs> Kevin Zip. Margo Beam. And Yasuto Shaw. Dean Cornelli will now share a few closing words. We ask the graduates to remain seated after Dean Cornelli's remarks while the platform party recesses. Thank you. Okay, don't panic, it's really few words, so it's okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce the graduating class of 2023. Well done. among the first to welcome you to our wonderful global alumni network of Kellogg leaders, more than 68,000 people strong. So go out in the world and make this community proud and come back all the time. Come back. Bye.